time for the low fly. 500 feet, 500 knots. The major air forces in the world are developing or looking to procure next-generation fighter aircraft that will serve them for years to come, providing superiority in air combat domain. With the emergence and increasing use of digital and innovative technologies, countries are looking for next-level fighter jet capabilities. Currently no single country has come out with a sixth-generation fighter jet. But most superpowers are in the box of developing one. In today's video, we shall see the top 6th generation fighter aircraft under development. Mitsubishi FX This proposed stealth fighter for Japan's Air Force is still in development, with the time frame for its mass production released in July 2020. The project aims to have a prototype ready for 2024, test flights in 2028, and, if all goes well, regular manufacturing could begin by 2031. The FX will likely feature stealth technology, including plasma stealth antenna, which can be used to deflect radio waves, thus making it harder for radar to detect it. While it can deflect radar, however, the antenna will still allow for communication while it's activated. Bearing the nickname Godzilla, it does not have official specifications yet, but some believe that it will be bigger than the F-22, may be built with X-2 capabilities, and perhaps even be able to be armed with more missiles than the F-35. It will also feature XF-91 engines. The FX will be armed with microwave weapon to disrupt incoming missiles. The microwave weapon is activated from stealth fighters ESA radar through the use of electron tube amplifiers capable of high efficiency and miniaturization. Tempest Tempest is a next-generation combat air system with a future combat aircraft at its core. Launched by Britain in 2018, the Tempest fighter jet project is a trilateral cooperation between the UK, Italy, and Sweden. The combat aircraft will enter service with the Royal Air Force in 2035 as a replacement of the Typhoon fighter. It will have an adaptable architecture suitable for a range of operations, with provision to change software and hardware according to mission needs. Other key features include an advanced flight control system, enhanced survivability, and scalable autonomy. Equipped with advanced technologies such as futuristic wearable cockpits using gaming technology, eye-tracking technology, and augmented reality, the aircraft will serve the RAF for the next 60 years. Other technologies to be incorporated in the aircraft include stealth, optional manning, directed energy weapons and hypersonic weapons. The aircraft's ability to exchange data with multiple platforms will provide armed forces with a comprehensive picture of the future battle space. It will use swarming technologies to control drones, while the cooperative engagement capability will allow the platforms to coordinate during attack or defense operations. A futuristic radar technology, known as a multifunction radio frequency system, being developed for Tempest will be able to provide over 10,000 times more data than existing systems. It will deliver significant advantage in combat situations through the ability to locate and target enemy platforms beforehand. MiG-41 being manufactured by Russian aviation mainstay Mikoyan, and also known as the PAC-DP, the MiG-41 is planned to be either an extremely advanced 5th generation or 6th generation fighter jet. It is expected to have stealth capabilities and be able to exceed Mach 4. Equipped with an anti-missile laser and be able to operate at very high altitudes and even in near space. It could be transformed into an unmanned version later. When completed, this will replace the long-serving MiG-31s that serve as part of the core of Russia's Air Force but were last produced in 1994. The MiG-41 design was completed in 2019, tests were conducted in 2020, and, by January 2021, it entered its development phase. The MiG-41 is planned to have a missile interceptor system that will be able to intercept not just conventional missiles but hypersonic ones as well. 
Assuming that everything continues to go according to plan, the MiG-41's mass production is at present scheduled for 2025. Future Combat Air System The FCAS is a proposed sixth-generation fighter system for nations in the European Union. It is to be built by Airbus, with Germany, France, and Spain the chief countries investing in the program, which will have both manned as well as unmanned elements. The program began in 2017, Dassault Aviation and Airbus were announced as collaborators for the project in 2018, Safran, and MTU joined in 2019, and, by 2020, the first phase of research and development on the FCAS was approved by the Budgetary Committee of the Bundestag. Still, the FCAS is a long way off, with it not expected to be in use until 2040. When it's completed, it is expected to have stealth features, advanced avionics and situational awareness, novel effectors, and electronic warfare and directed energy weapon capabilities. FX or Next Generation Air Dominance The US Air Force is seemingly ahead of its counterparts in the race for the development of a sixth-generation fighter aircraft. The U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory released a rendering of the next-generation aircraft FX in March 2018, which indicated the aircraft will have a sleek stealthy design with a high-energy laser capable of cutting enemy aircraft in half. Also known as next-generation air dominance or penetrating counter-air, the future aircraft is expected to have longer range and larger payloads, as well as the ability to carry hypersonic weapons. The U.S. Air Force has not yet chosen the manufacturer for the sixth-generation fighter aircraft and information about the capabilities of the FX into public domain is currently not available. Under the NGAD program, the U.S. Air Force aims to develop advanced capabilities such as connected air warfare systems including fighter aircraft, drones and networked platforms. Aimed at boosting air superiority, the program could see the FX fighters provide significantly enhanced stealth capabilities and work in coordination with unmanned vehicles. The USAF has reportedly recently designed, built and tested a prototype of the new fighter jet. The demonstrator was developed and flown in a year. It remains unclear who designed and developed the prototype, but it is understood that advanced manufacturing technology was used to develop it. If the program progresses at a rapid pace through streamlined processes and the use of technology, the fighter jet could join the U.S. Air Force earlier than the planned 2030 timeline. PAL AMCA The AMCA is a fifth-generation fighter for the Indian Air Force that is planned to eventually have sixth-generation capabilities. Initial research has been completed, and the fighter is scheduled to be displayed in 2024, with prototypes and the first test flight arranged for 2025 and manufacturing for 2030. Because it is a fifth-generation fighter that is destined to be upgraded to a sixth-generation one, this fighter jet, while still in the developmental stages, is still further along with more concrete specifications to list. The AMC is expected to measure 56 feet 5 inches long, be able to reach Mach 2.15, have an operational range of 1750 nautical miles, and be armed with several kinds of armaments, including laser-guided bombs, a 23mm GSH-23 cannon, S-8 rocket pods, Astra Mark a half-3 air-to-air missiles, and BrahMos NG air-to-ground missiles. JXX if there is any country that can give the U.S. Air Force a run for its money in terms of aerial dominance, it's China. A combination of the project still being in the early planning stages and the Chinese government naturally being tight-lipped about new military projects means that not much is known about this proposed sixth-generation fighter. Whatever the JXX is or becomes, it will someday replace the J-20 and J-31, both of which are new and closely guarded secrets. As a result, ideas of what it may include come primarily via Chinese announcements via state media such as China Central Television. Among CCTV's rumors and rumblings are that the JXX may have a longer fuselage than previous designs, may have a trapezoidal wing, and may have an S-shaped air inlet in order to reduce its radar signature. I-3 The I-3 is still in the early stages of development for the Japanese Armed Forces. 
It is imagined to be the successor to the F-2 fighter and is part of a larger attempt by the Japanese armed forces to modernize their military with neighboring Russia and China doing the same. However, while it is imagined as someday replacing the F-2, the influence of the latter on the former is still unclear, as is the precise timetable for this replacement occurring. That's partly because this model is at the beginning of its life cycle, with research to begin in the early 2020s. Among the potential features of the I-3 are advanced stealth technology, resistance to electromagnetic and electronic interference and warfare, ESA radar, advanced avionics, sensor fusion, and, just as with the Tempest, the promise for directed energy weaponry and anti-missile capability.